So I was in fourth grade, new student in a new school and all. And oh, what the f fourth grade? All right, that looks better. Uh, fourth grade. Oh, I went on this bus and this weird kid like sat by me. I didn't mind. I don't care if you sit by me. But if you start invading my space, that's when I think you're gay. Especially when you're a dude doing that. Which, in this case, was a dude. I don't know what the fuck his deal was. But he just wanted to kiss me every ride. I don't know why. It was pretty weird. He always whispered something before he went in, too. It was weird. And three days of hell on that bus later. I'm like, you know what, fuck it. I might just ask this guy to hang out or something. Because, you know, I'm a good guy. And then that guy ended up to be Andy Picasso, my great friend. And two years later, we made this movie. And we get together every never to watch it. We're not that gay. Skip forward to freshman year. That's when I met this kid, Mason. He was pretty weird. Hmm, he was. I just walk around the hallways and he just always wanted to talk to me. And I'm not really good with talking to people I don't know. Until um, one day, Mason followed me and Andy home. And then we just like clicked like that. Yeah, and a couple months like or weeks after meeting Mason, he told me he already knew me in eighth grade. He told me in this voice, he's like he just said Ever since you wore that yellow jacket, dude. <laughs> I thought you were so cool. Oh, yeah, baby. Well, I responded and told him that he was a faggot. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. Got nowhere to run. The night goes on and some fading away. And then skip forward to junior year summer before we became seniors we got this idea to be in this youtube shit and that's when we began m i a my life be like